there are a number of different reasons why we should be concerned about the, uh, the conservation of nature and the natural system. Uh, there are, there's an economic reason, there's a scientific reason, there's a self-interest reason. But there should also be a moral reason, it seemed to me. And what I was hoping was that I asked the Dean of Windsor to use the consultation center at uh, St. George's House to bring together some sort of theologians and some uh, uh, conservationists, people who understand about the, the natural system, really to talk about whether there is, or to try for the, for the theologians in a sense, to see whether they could develop a moral imperative, whether, but whether Christians, whether there is a Christian view about nature and whether there's a Christian view about the conservation of nature. How serious is the threat of extinction to our planet? If you blow up a balloon, when do you expect it to burst? I mean, if you pull a, an elastic band, when do you expect it to break? If you bend a stick, when do you expect it to break? I, I don't know. I think that the, if you go on expanding uh, uh, economic, industrial activity, if you go on expanding the human population, I mean, uh, it's, it's something's got to happen sooner or later, but I have no idea when it's going to happen. The fact is that we're on a, on a very serious decline. I mean, there's a degradation of the environment is, is evident.